let's talk about something I find fascinating. The hot pepper. Now, I'm not going to talk about its 7,000 year history. I'm not a historian. I just pretend to be one in conversation. No, I want to cover the events leading up to where we are now. How it became the worldwide phenomenon it is. How designer peppers came to be. The world records. The eventful years. And the pepperheads that are forever pushing the limits. So watchers, welcome to the hottest race in the world. Let's start with the reason this new world vegetable made it to the old one. Christopher Columbus himself. It was 1489, the kingdom of Castile and Leon. Columbus propositioned Isabella I to fund his expedition to find a route to India to find spices. Let's fast forward to 1492. Funded and willing, he sailed three ships across the Atlantic. There he would find friendly locals willing to trade. Bolstered by his success, the Spaniards would send more expeditions. The rest is a history of violence. They had returned to Europe with spoils of war, mostly gems and gold and slaves, but also seeds and plants. Tomatoes, potatoes, avocados, chocolate, corn, peanuts, pineapples, tobacco, and most importantly, peppers. It became a much beloved crop across Europe as a food alternative to black peppercorn, a medicinal treatment, and even as an art piece. Linnaeus would classify it, and Mendel would discover how its genealogy works. Let's cut to 1894. We're back in the New World. Dr. Fabian Garcia was posted at an experimental station in the now named New Mexico State University. He's a popular figurehead in New Mexico, known for his knowledge of all things green and his demeanor. He went about breeding peppers to make something a little more stable for the local farmers. The end result? The New Mexico number no. 9, colloquially known as the Hatch Chili. It has a mild heat, it's easy to peel skin, and produces a consistent yield. It caught on like wildfire. Ask anyone in New Mexico what their favorite chili pepper is, and they won't give you a name. Just colors. Red or green. Sometimes Christmas. It's always the hatch. All thanks to Dr. Fabian Garcia and his designer pepper. But that only scratches the surface. Next episode, let's dive into the murky waters of the classic world records and the lead up to the arms race to destroy your tongue. Thanks for watching.